a lot of people that are diagnosed with GERD also uh, most likely would be diagnosed with osteoporosis because those nutrients aren't being able to be properly obtained because the stomach acid is going up too much, digestion is not happening, and it leads to low calcium, iron, B12, magnesium, and so brittle bones, the bone density is not able to be really fulfilled because the nutrient density is not there. So that glutamine at 2,000, the others are, you're going to see 5,000 and 6,000. Yeah. A lot of times what we found is that can lead to a lot of flatulence and bloating and just uncomfortableness at that big of a dose. So somebody can take this twice a day if necessary. I haven't needed to take this twice a day, but that glutamine is really like, think about it, intestinal fuel, an amino acid, intestinal fuel. Welcome everybody to the Healthy Habit Podcast. We're talking with Stacy Faulkner today in episode number 42. We're back folks with the National Educator for Emerald Labs. Stacy provides insight and understanding to those seeking information regarding better health through proper supplementation and self-care. And Stacy's back for our monthly check-in today with Emerald Labs. She's been with, uh, well, she's been in the natural health industry since 2000. So we're going on 23 years of just inputting data, working with people, educating the public. Yes. Stacy, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, Dehan. Good to see you again on a monthly visit. Good to see you too. And we're talking Emerald Labs today. Before we went on today, we were talking about the Reflux Health product. We literally mm -hmm. use this clinically here at Healthy Habit Medical Center because of its clinical, it's very specific with the extractions and, and the milligrams it has and doses. So let's talk about the Reflux Health product to get to kick things off here today. Yeah, so let's, uh, in general, let's just talk about gut health, right? Overall, we can tie in some leaky gut powder, we can tie in digestive enzymes, we can talk about reflux health. Uh, yes. Specifically, when you're talking about, you were just referring this to one of your patients. Um, this guy is an amazing product in my mind because it personally has benefited me there's only three ingredients. If we're talking about the indicators of use for this would be for the reflux health would be anybody that would be suffering from acronym GERD. So gastroesophageal reflux disorder, right? Um, so that would be for somebody that's um, after they eat belching, um, burping, uh, um, acid reflux, the, the stomach acid coming up instead of staying down um, and, and getting the nutrients out of the food that we eat is really the purpose of that stomach acid, right? Yeah, um, the nutrients need to be sent to uh, the organs and the brain and everybody where it needs to go, the bones, all of that. So a lot of people are suffering from this. And the reason is, in my mind, overeating, uh, over drinking, um, the triggers would be something like spicy food, tomato sauce, um, pizza sauce, um, uh, citrus, citrus fruits, um, cough, caffeine trying to think off the top of my head there's a lot of things and most people are like oh well, that's everything great but these are just triggers and so if you're overdoing for, it sorry to interrupt so triggers for reflux yeah for acid okay. reflux and so that's exactly what we're talking about and so when that stomach acid is coming up instead of staying down we have an issue with the lower esophageal sphincter that's loosening either due to lifestyle uh you know lifestyle choices um it could be hereditary it could be a longevity that just starts to loosen over time and that little sphincter is in charge of keeping stomach acid down and, and wants to stay, it needs to stay tight and shut, right? Because stomach acid needs to do its own thing. But additionally, Dehan, it's what we're seeing is so much acid reflux going on, the gastroesophageal reflux disorders. Um, it also could, it's like vomiting. Uh, once you lie flat, if you're not fully digesting, um, kind of like in a little cesspool or you're like in a puddle of mud, right? And so it's just kind of comes up, especially if that sphincter is loosened. So I'm fascinated with this product because the bottom line in my mind with this product is to avoid people going on proton pump inhibitors or H2 blockers. You right. know? So that would be what Prilosec, Pepsid, um, uh, Omeprazole or Thematidine. So that's the generic name for it. But what's happening is we're starting to get a lot of the acid coming up from the stomach. Stomach gets past the lower esophageal sphincter. And then all of a sudden it starts to trigger along the whole esophageal wall. And so 
you want to avoid scarring. So inflammation can be done by what you know you can look at it with the endoscopy, right? right? And you can get the results done. You want to avoid like a hiatal hernia. So scarring is what you want to prevent because then you can no longer really go back to any of those triggers because then you're looking at possible surgery, right? So this reflex health is amazing. It's mucosate, what you talked about earlier. It's deglycerized licorice and it's aloe vera extract. So those two, deglycerized licorice and aloe vera extract, healing and soothing, healing and soothing, hmm. okay? Mucosal kind of activity. The mucosate is a patented ingredient in here and it's comprised of olive leaf extract and prickly pear cact. Prickly pear cactus pad, think about that. Um, those two together create a, a mucoadhesive. So what we're looking at is coating a protective barrier along the upper soft, uh, on the upper GI tract. And hmm. so acid, protective barrier, try to prevent it from going all the way up to the esophageal wall and past the, the lower esophageal sphincter. So it's just three ingredients and the proton pump inhibitors, what we want to prevent is seriously because um, in overall, people in America tend to take more than what they're supposed to, more is better. And with these proton pump inhibitors and the H2 blockers, you really don't want to be on them longer than two weeks for one or a month or two months for another. And people are taking them with every meal, you know, three, four times a day. Um, I call them little Tic Tacs. And hmm. you know that it's a huge epidemic when you're looking at a Costco and the end cap at the Costco is as big as, you know, a thousand square feet mm -hmm. and a private second pass it. Yeah. So it's an issue. And so this would be something for people to really look into as an alternative. Also, if you ever want to Google um, melatonin and acid reflux, melatonin, um, I like to use a three a three milligram time release melatonin. You can also use a liquid, but combined with the reflux health, the melatonin has been shown in studies to actually protect a protective barrier along the upper uh, GI tract as well, uh, upper upper GI tract, but yeah. also going to the lower esophageal sphincter and teaching itself to tighten and shut again. So fascinating stuff with melatonin. It's not that, just right. that lower esophageal sphincter is where the esophagus and the stomach meet. Right. And the then right there at that junction is where the problem happens, yeah. where that kickback happens, right? It goes up the throat totally. and you feel it. And so people are really disrupted with their sleep. A lot of people that are diagnosed with GERD also uh, most likely would be diagnosed with osteoporosis because those nutrients aren't being able to be properly obtained because the stomach acid is going up too much, digestion is not happening, and it leads to low calcium, iron, B12, magnesium, and so mm. brittle bones, the bone density is not able to be really fulfilled because the nutrient density is not there. It's fascinating to me. It's also... It's all connected. Also connected. So again, that's the, can you hold that one up to the yeah. camera again there, reflux Stacey? Health. So reflux health just through that. Emerald Labs. That's a reflux, just that. The additive free company. Mm -hmm. why, why is it called that? Because <laughs> uh, any additives whatsoever, if the consumer wants to go ahead and read the label facts on the back, it, all they're going to see on the other ingredient is just going to be the capsule. The capsule. And additionally, this vegetable capsule is a project verified non GMO pine bark capsule so it's the cellulose it's just the cellulose from pine bark and it's clean pine bark amazing and there's only three ingredients in there as the chief yeah. as the main healers the mucosave yeah. the dgl which is the the glycerized licorice extract and then the the last one was what aloe vera extract. aloe vera extract so okay so a lot of like um like gut gut formulas for people as well like the leaky gut formula that we have now BGM, right. and uh, the deglycerized licorice and the um, aloe vera extract. Is so, important. yeah, real quick, I because we've been dealing with this clinically, we do a lot of gastrointestinal health here at, mm -hmm. at Healthy Habit Clinic. Yes. And GERD, it's not just burning up the throat. That's one symptom, but not everyone mm -hmm. gets that yet. You know, you might just feel a little discomfort there at the sternum. It yeah. just feels full and not comfortable. Yeah. Or you're coughing a lot at night when you lay mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. uh, backwash regurgitation of food mm -hmm. or it's like sour liquid that you notice or even just trouble swallowing which is the, the dysphagia you know you might feel like there's just a lump in the throat too these are all symptoms you of really GERD. Their sleep too so a lot of people yeah. don't get oh yeah sleep. yeah they have to sleep sitting up 
Yep, they have to sleep sitting up and mm -hmm. also they don't really get into a deep REM because that acid will wake them up in the middle of their sleep from the burning like you're talking about. And um, very, very uncomfortable. They'll wake themselves up burping. Yeah. Uh, a lot of things you'll find out too is uh, they will wake up and have to vomit in the middle of the night. Yep. So red wine was another one, another trigger too. I was trying to think about these triggers of alcohol, red wine, caffeine. So those are... Yeah, the, those are the, the big ones. Yeah, citrus, lemonade. But you know like what's that. another one is people that have had their gallbladder taken out, which is a really Absolutely. common procedure, and then so they don't now that bile they don't change their diet after that after the <laughs> surgery, they right. keep eating the same thing that led them to getting the gallstones in the first place, and then all that bile backs up into the stomach. That's another hidden cause. So and it, it will yeah. and also they um, like you said the lifestyle choices don't change, and. This, you know, a lot of people too with the gastric bypass too, the lifestyle doesn't change. Right. There you go. And so imagine that. That's that's crazy. If you have this procedure yeah. and don't change anything after right. unbelievable. Right. Anyway, so that was the reflux health product. Next yeah, up I mean, on the list in it's our in its, yeah. uh, very, you know, price point wise, clean, additive free, gluten free, non GMO ingredients. Uh, Dr. Stangler is a naturopathic medical doctor who's formulated these ingredients. Um, so overall, instead of reaching for a Meprazole or Pepsod or Prilosec or Thematidine, they also, I don't know if you have understood this or have researched any of this about the um, amount of cognitive decline syndrome that's starting to occur with the over amount of these proton pump inhibitors yeah. that people are taking. And I mean, Omeprazole, I don't think you're even supposed to take for longer than two months. I mean, these are really very, um, you, we want, we want our, we, we want our stomach acid. <laughs> you know? Yeah. There's things that people yeah. can do <laughs> it's, to really yeah. address this. Or drinking, like, drinking too much alkaline water is a similar idea where it just, it puts out the fire almost. You're literally well, like a fire yeah, extinguisher yeah, to the very acid. important, right? Overall. Oh, well. Alkaline, yeah. especially if people then if, if people want to understand that right away just what you said when you feel the burning that's acidic and acidity breeds disease right mm. and so a lot of diseases cannot um live in an alkaline environment and mm. so alkalinity is really what we want and especially yeah. if people are having like big issues with the reflux too i would always encourage them too to take um the little uh ph strips okay and monitor themselves too, right? And kind what, of what I meant, what I meant was, so you said our stomach's very acidic, right? The acid, right? We want that, but then people put that out. They drink too much of the alkaline water. Yes, and it makes the stomach acid too alkaline, and it's not as strong. In the Chinese medicine, they call it the the fire, the stomach fire. The stomach fire and gets so weaker. I think this is where people get into a lot of trouble with uh, distilled water, right? And reverse osmosis water, correct? Mm. No, or like the the alkaline. You know, people are buying now like it's pH nine nine point eight. Water. Yeah, like you can buy alkaline water now, not even RO and distilled. Those aren't alkaline. Okay. Like there's oh. like companies producing alkalized water. You know, like pH nine point oh and above. The, I see it on the bottles. All yes, the those types of waters. People are drinking a lot of those because they're trying to alkalize their body. Yeah. But then it throws their digestive system off like crazy, but they don't even think it's from the water because now that stomach acid's way too alkaline. Right, right. So oh, yeah, that's... Gosh. I had not even ever even considered that. So think you about that one, yeah. I see a lot of people, they come to present to us and they have GI issues, yeah. gut issues. And I ask them, are you drinking alkaline water? Every time they say yes. Every oh time. my gosh. And they're having bloating and all these GI issues and discomfort and the bloating and gas especially feel like they're not digesting their food very well and they're drinking that alkaline water every day very right. high ph right so anyway i just wanted to mention that no i think that that's fascinating to me i just learned something new which is great think just... about that so now imagine that you're alkalizing that acid right in the stomach it's supposed yeah. to be acidic right right we, we want it <laughs> that's absolutely so then how would the reflux health product be different from just the digestive health product well all right from emerald kind of a big a big difference right so i would say this digestive health product is um basically just for that for 
I think anybody can really take this um, because of the fact of it's just a raw broad plant spectrum of digestive enzymes. But what makes it okay. a little bit unique are a couple of things. One, it's got 250 units of the proteolytic enzyme DPP4. So one thing that's kind of fascinating is DPP4 is usually pretty low in people with like celiac disease, um, mm. uh, spectrum disorder, okay? They usually have even an overgrowth, right? Of bacteria, of, uh, of uh, the bad guys' gut health. Yeah. So this also has gentian root, ginger, and fennel in there. So that's soluble fiber, but also those are digestives. So this could be for everybody, all right? Especially though, for somebody that's kind of suffering from gluten, um, legumes or whey, um, albumin. And I even think it says it on the front. Okay, it does say gluten, dairy, and beans plus. So okay. that's just everything that I was just saying, legumes. So this is overall, and it says even on the front for the consumer, that it's got the 250 units of the DPP4, which is a gluten digesting enzyme. Okay. But it does much more than that. Like I said, mm. the legumes, the whey, the albumin. So this guy overall, just in, instead of just going with the broad plant spectrum of the enzymes, is added with the soluble fiber, the digestives, and um, the 250 units of the BPP4. So proteolytic, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of just eating away and uh, keeping things at bay, especially if people have health issues with gluten, et cetera. Because they, they have issues with the with digestion overall, this would be a good guy to start with. That's the digestive health formula, different from the reflux health formula, which had the, the DGL, the aloe, and the mucosave. This one is the DPPI4, DPP4 enzyme. DPP4. So you're saying a lot of people with the celiacs and just different other, if they eat the wrong foods, too much of the wrong foods that aren't prepared properly, they don't have enough of that enzyme? to function to break right. the food down or, or they're low level they're low producers of it okay actually because we do produce it so this is a patented ingredient this dpp4 and i think people you know should should note that a lot of these formulas are using patented registered trademark ingredients for them to really amend prevent or ameliorate whatever they're they're facing but they're science backed and so that's one thing that the consumers need or your listeners really need to take into effect a superior ingredient that's science backed it's going to do what it says it's going to do, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What are some warning signs that you might need that when you eat beans and the dairy, especially and so, the wrong kind of bread? Flatulence, burping, uncomfortableness. These guys can, might, might be able to be taken kind of around the same time, um, but they are approaching different things. But before your meal, if you're having you... If you're just uncomfortable, like you said in the beginning, if you're just uncomfortable after you eat, either figure out, change that kind of diet to see if you can get more comfortable with the foods you okay. eat, or also make sure that you have a digestive enzyme. Also, digestive enzymes wane with age, right? So they start to yeah, they start to lessen, and so we have you know not as proper digestion. And then if we're making these lifestyle choices of fast food versus a fresh salad bar, you know. You're going to have different different right. ways of digestion. I think we all know when we eat something that is not properly digesting. Yeah, it's just you know not a very comfortable experience. And then when then the, to round it out, we have like a triple pronged approach when it comes to GI health and Emerald Labs. We have the leaky gut health product as well. So oh. explain this concept of the leaky gut. Is that like I obviously Powder. I have my ideas of what it is. I want to hear your perspective on leaky oh gut. Gosh. Okay, so again, uh, so I have the MTHFR genetic variant, so the gut health has always been an issue. Um, so this is why I talk so fantastically about these products, because I am my own guinea pig. Right, this, this one's a powder. 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 I think it tastes absolutely delicious, and it's either the marshmallow or the slippery elm. It's herby to me. Um, I think it's only five milliliters, it's three, uh, one scoop, it's three grams, the tiny little scoop. So this guy... What makes it unique from some of the other competitors is the addition of quercetin in here. So it's got the obvious ones, the amino acid glutamine. It's got the deglycerized licorice we talked about earlier that's in the reflux health, as well as the aloe vera extract that's in the reflux health. So we're looking at healing and soothing. And then we've got slippery elm, marshmallow, and then the quercetin, which is the patented ingredient of quercetin um, in a phytosome technology. So 
uh, quercetin is poorly absorbed by the human body, animal body. And so what this company did in Dina is they've taken the quercetin, uh, standardized and just really concentrated it, and they put it in a phytosome technology, which is just basically a fat bubble. Mm. So I believe this one is a sunflower lecithin bubble. So quercetin is inside the sunflower lecithin bubble. So therefore, the clinical studies showed that it it merges into the cell at a much more bioavailable rate and it stays around much longer. So what we're looking at here, obviously quercetin, and not obviously the consumers, if people don't know, it's comprised of two flavonoids, but quercetin is, is, is a potent antioxidant. It's very good for um, one of the, one of the uh, flavonoids is rutin. Mm -hmm. And we've always promoted rutin for elasticity, capillary elasticity, um, capillary strength and resistance. And, you know, 20 years ago, we were always promoting it for hemorrhoids, right? And so you think about that kind of elasticity and that kind of, that's what we also want in like our lungs. So quercetin came out with a great study for lung health during the end of the pandemic. Mm. And in this case, what we're looking at the quercetin is we're looking as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, but also keeping things more viable along the wall of the intestine. And leaky gut health is just, leaky gut is just that. It is basically... Your, your little walls that are tight and I like to call it a little castle and you have a moat around it and so you've got your soldiers protecting it but as soldiers come the bad guys come it starts to weaken the area and so what happens is the walls start to it's permeability of the, of the intestinal wall is basically what it is but if you think about it as it starts to weaken and they can't protect anymore and so mm -hmm. then this is when we get pharmaceuticals, toxins, whatever's going through our bloodstream or whatever's coming into the gut, it's then eventually, perhaps, unfortunately, going to go through the bloodstream once it gets past the castle, the, the right. moat, what I yeah, like yeah, to call yeah. Does that make sense? No, this is definitely a unique way of using quercetin. It hasn't been on my radar. And really, no one discusses quercetin being used for the gut health. So that's yeah. that's that's a unique way. It's, it is this huge selling point. It. Also, two months supply versus... Um, the competitors one month supply. I think this is like maybe just three or four dollars more. But I'm telling you, on the three weeks that I've been taking this, it's it's pretty great. Yeah, it's, you you can definitely tell a difference with just overall gut health. Where I would think that it also really helps with the digestion, and I also think it's really helping with the reflux. So I haven't had to take reflux health for months now. Got it. That one may be really, yeah, when you actually feel that burning going up the esophagus mm -hmm. and the discomfort, and then you pull out the reflux health. Maybe it's not an everyday one, right? Right. Knowing your triggers too, like what are you doing? You know, yeah. if you know that you, if you know you're going to have a problem when you go to sleep after two glasses of red wine, you may want to carry the reflux health with you. You know what I mean? If you know that. I mean, that's, if you're going to have spicy pizza or, you know, spaghetti sauce. Right. Right. Then there it is right there. Yeah, absolutely. So mean, for if you're not, if you're, if you're not listening stuff. to us on YouTube, I pulled it up here on uh, store.emeraldlabs.com. You can head yeah. over there right now, emeraldlabs.com oh, and search, that's even cheaper. search the leaky gut health product. You can get it there. Or if you're in Phoenix, come visit the store. We have the best prices in town. I mean, that's confirmed. That's a fact. Leaky gut health. Doctor yeah. formulated Emerald Labs product. Get a two month supply here for forty forty six. Save five bucks, basically four fifty. Basically, yeah. Then what's on the this shop? This is mm -hmm. an awesome formula. You have the L glutamine in there as the most. How come that's the number one? You chose to have that's four glutamine. times the amount of glutamine compared to. Yeah, I'm glad you brought region. that up. So that glutamine at two thousand. The others are you're going to see five thousand and six thousand. Yeah. A lot of times, what we found is that can lead to a lot of flatulence and bloating and just uncomfortableness at that big of a dose. So somebody can take this twice a day if necessary. I haven't needed to take this twice a day, but that glutamine is really like think about it: intestinal fuel, an amino acid, intestinal fuel. Yeah, um, and that, yeah. that's not bad for other ingredients, by the way. <laughs> no, none. No, the quercetin. So that's the support japonica. Yep, aloe vera. So it's a two hundred to one that extract. This is a great, and it. I think it tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. I was even taking it, taking it into stores with me into dinner trainings, and having people. I was mixing it up, having people try it. 
Well, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. So, and if you look here, the DGL is in here as well with the aloe vera, just like you find in the reflux health formula. Right. Uh, and probably... that just protects against damage. Yeah. Right. It's really protective healing. People just think about healing and soothing, protecting against damage. Uh, slippery elm soothes and coats as well, too. This is a great formula. Amazing. And completely added to free, too. People need to understand that. And then the price yeah. of it. Just... That's a big deal. I mean, you chose to put that in your guys' slogan. Obviously, that's a that is a that's a big huge selling point. You know, Emerald yeah. Labs, the additive free company. So additive you're not company, putting right. all kinds of fillers in there and different preservatives and different coloring getting, agents and all this stuff. Straight ingredients. The last thirty seconds here. What's a good take home? This is a good gut health episode. A lot of people present to our clinic and store for gut health issues. It's one of the top issues in america i would say digestive oh, disorders under that umbrella what's what we're seeing, you know give us a little take home here stacy for episode impact, 42. Pepsid. so a good take home would be um trying to prevent proton pump inhibitors somatidine omeprazole prilosec or pepsid um and looking at um right. healthy habits your natural health food store near you go online and research you can you can find the emerald labs products pretty much uh, so anywhere where you are and really do your research of uh, how you can take away something natural to get rid of whatever's, you know, going on with you yeah. and, uh, try to do something natural instead of, you know, less work for your liver, all those pharmaceuticals and, and over the counters, they're not so great for the liver and the liver already goes through so much. It's already so overworked and underpaid. Very well. Perfect place to end it. There. so yeah. much. Uh, thank you so much, Stacy, for thank coming you, on and taking the time. Well. We'll see you at the next one.